Hi everyone, welcome to my next video. Sorry it's been a, a wee while, way longer than I wanted and I'm going to try, literally, I'm going to try and get a video out today, tomorrow and Sunday if I can, fingers crossed. Hi to everybody going along to the Northern Shooting Show. I've heard from Constantin at MX Arms and Ash at Custom Hunting. Really gutted I can't be there to say hello to you both and catch up. This video is a little fill-in. Sorry Ash, I really haven't had chance to do th this this fella justice. For everyone un unaware, I was going to shoehorn this into my article on affordable night vision, which is in the shops right now, June's Airgun World article. Hi to uh, Dave and everyone there at the team. Basically, uh, Ash kindly sent me one of these to review, all for honest impartial review as usual. Basically, it's a day and night scope, it's very compact, I'm just about to unbox it for you and very quickly show you the ropes. It comes with a, an IR illuminator, which is excellent, and a uh, Picatinny mount, standard Picatinny mount really. But I just needed to get this recorded this morning. Uh, well, it's actually afternoon now. So it's one of those days, one of those weeks, to let you know about these. Ash is exhibiting at the Northern Shooting Show today, tomorrow and Sunday. And he'll have about 50 of these units. So this is a compact Picatinny day and night scope, digital day and night vision, and we're talking scope, an eyepiece adapter, which I'll quickly show you, and an adjustable VCSEL torch, which is excellent. The whole lot, we're talking 260 quid. So don't know how he does it, but I mean, it is. this is not the latest PARD or Height Micro or Pulsar, but this is affordable night vision. So for those of you Reading my latest article in Airgun World on the uh, two affordable Dassun um, day and night spotters, and they're thinking, mm, okay, that could get me, give me a uh, head up into uh, the world of night vision. This scope could then be used for fairly reasonably, you know, relatively short airgun ranges, uh, certainly sub 12. This could get you started um, targeting as well as spotting. Let me, let me show you more. Right, everyone. So we have the custom hunting dot uk digital night vision scope and this is the trd 10 pro hd image quality waterproof ip67 multiple reticles anti-recoil and stadiometric uh, range finding comes in a solid box you've got an instruction leaflet and i'll put the link down below to my Flickr album that i already have of this fella so we have Three main components. We have the scope itself with a built-in Picatinny rail. Oh, we've got some download cables. We've got uh, an eyepiece and we have uh, an excellent VCSEL IR torch. Now, Bruce, that's Phoenix on the UK Night Vision Forum, has had a quick look at this. He, he didn't really get on with it well with his eyesight. And I think if my eyesight, if I roll back a few years, my eyesight was it was still perfect 2020 or 2010 as it used to be then i think i'd be perfect with this too but to get around that ash supplies this little picatinny 3d printed fella that weighs literally next to nothing so without further ado i'll get the scope out and move the box to one side so this is your three components and we'll make this a a sort of a, a mini review if you will so the scope including battery is 388 grams the rear sort of hood that takes away the glare and has an, a lens inside and a rubber eye cup 87 grams and the vcsel ir torch which is adjustable beam spread if you like but not adjustable beam strength and not adjustable direction that's 206 grams. So all three, all together, just 680 grams. Okay. And as I say, this is more of an introduction than a full review. I shall have about 50 of these units on sale today, tomorrow and Sunday at the Northern Shooting Show. And if you visit customhunting.uk and scopes or night vision section, then you'll see this fella there. So just to introduce it, we have... A rather unusual looking boxy setup. We've got IP67 rating, so the USB socket for downloading uh, footage 
is under this cap. The battery is held under this one. The focus, rather unusually, is in this upper turret, which bears the Custom Hunting logo when the camera focuses on it. Okay, and we have a Picatinny accessory rail here on the side for three slots for the Picatinny VCSEL torch mount. And as you can see, it's a slightly tight fit because as you can see, some of the powder coating has come off when that's been attached like so. Okay, we have a rear console with a power button for on and off and left and right menu buttons. And any of you who are familiar with night vision will be aware that when you put a day and night scope into night vision mode, you have a faint click and that's a small servo moving the IR filter out of the way. This is the IR filter on this scope. And this little catch on the left, push that catch, pops down, and that's it ready for use in night vision mode. Okay. And if I just power it up, you can hopefully see a reticle and you can see some of the menu options and it's automatically recording down there at the bottom. But I'm not gonna include any footage right now and I'm not gonna show you this work at night. This is just to introduce it quickly uh, because I really have been a bit lax. I've had this for a wee while from Ash and I just haven't had time to, to do a full review yet. But the main thing to draw your attention to, we have a Picatinny, it's adjustable. That's a QD clamp, which is adjustable via this knurled knob uh, for Picatinny mounting. Now that screen is quite small and I'm holding this about a foot away from my face and I can comfortably read all the information on it. And as I said, there's an option of different reticles and so on. But up close, you need perfect eyesight basically to be able to see that. So what Ash has is this very light 3D printed uh, console here that this hood fits into there and the screen, as you can see, is then visible through the, through hit the back. So basically, if I show you that as it would appear on a Picatinny rail, your Picatinny rail has to be long enough to accept the two together. Now I've just quickly rigged this up on my mini Brucey bonus plate and you can see this bracket is still loose. But basically this is how you would configure it if you didn't have perfect eyesight. Because the, the rear screen focus is not adjustable, this focus knob adjusts the objective focus Ash provides this 3D printed hood and rear eye socket, which also effectively doubles up. It blocks out any extraneous light that might illuminate your face at night. So the little lens in here and this eye cup helps you focus on the screen and see everything perfectly while also removing extraneous light. So in order to have this mountable on your rifle's Picatinny uh, rail, you need 150, 160 mil of uh, of Picatinny rail available. Okay, so just to make you aware of that. It's rather ingenious. You've got an adjuster knob for the Picatinny clamp here. This unit is metal. This is lightweight 3D printed plastic. And together that gives you a day and night scope. And here you'll be able to see the screen while blocking out extraneous light that spill that might illuminate your face when you pray. If your prey is lampshy, for example. Okay, so that's the main scope. And I will be doing more of a review of this in uh, a week or two to come. Now, this is a standard offset Picatinny bracket for your 25mm tubed standard torch, visible or IR. And as you can see, it goes on the right hand side, about there. So there we go. And it won't block the knob or the access to the buttons or the battery compartment. And so, as I said, this is not directable regarding your direction up, down, left, right, but it pulls out. So that is a flood spread beam and pull it forward and that's a narrower focused beam. And Bruce and I have both checked this, tested this IR torch uh, with night vision in, in darkness and it's an excellent VCSEL torch with a simple on off. There we go. And the digital camera isn't picking up as usual. So focus beam, 
spread beam, okay? So excellent, simple IR torch. We've got a, day, a compact day and night scope with different menus, and we have an ingenious uh, eyepiece attachment for anyone who <laughs> basically doesn't have perfect sight. Okay, so that's the TRD 10 Pro from customhunting.uk and Ash will have about 50 of these units for sale today, tomorrow and Sunday at the Northern Shooting Show. So I hope all of you who can attend really enjoy the show, have a great time and I wish I was there. So I hope that concise video wasn't too rushed. Please uh, pop along to ashcustomhunting.uk, have a look at his website or say hello to him this weekend at the Northern Shooting Show. Say I sent you and hi to Constantine and MX Arms and the team and I'm sure Chris at CDR Guns and his team will be there as well helping man the MX booth. Great guys, awesome rifles and you'll see another video. The video I'm hoping to get out on Sunday is a compilation of local pest control, one of my local permissions, targeting rats using the Hype Micro Stella SH50 thermal scope, outstanding scope, and mainly uh, had that fitted on my Air Max crate, which what a, what a combination. Whether it had the Viroc XL or XLK moderator or the Eagle Vision Cam Quattro moderator, either way, what a, what a stunning performance and You'll hopefully see that on around about Sunday or Monday, that video, with another one uploaded in the meantime, of course, because uh, I'm just about to return the Edgar Brothers Arms XV2 to Edgar Brothers, to uh, Graham and the team. Thanks, Graham, Chloe and the team, after my review of that, so which will be in the shops ne in next month's Egg and World magazine. So all go and not enough hours in the day, but. Uh, Hope everyone enjoys the Northern Shooting Show. Sorry I can't be there myself, just can't afford it this year. So I'll try and make it next year. I've still not attended that show yet. And there's be a little clip in a second. Don't forget please that the British Shooting Show next year, 2024, is the 23rd, 24th and 25th of February. So one weekend later than its usual weekend for one year only. Hi to John and Phil and the team there, brilliant. Loads more videos to coming, to coming soon. And hopefully, as I say, one tomorrow and one the day after. Bear with me. Steam coming up my ears. Cheers. Thanks for watching.